Hello, 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 and praise the Lord. Welcome to my channel. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just going to get started um, with braiding my hair since that's going to take the most time. I'm just going to put, I was going to put four, but I might just try to get two. No, should I do four? I think I should do four. Just so it's not any bulkiness going on. These are hair lotion with castor oil and aloe. That's a whole lot. Okay. Uh, this little hair lotion. This helps um, make my hair manageable. <laughs> And then take my little wig cap. I'm not gonna put bobby pins and all that in there because I'm wearing because I'm wearing this. So I'm pulling it back. Making sure everything's tucked, everything's nice and flat. And as you saw, I French braided the these two braids so it would be even flatter. So, and now this little wig that I'm gonna be wearing is called, is by Sensational. And it is called the bump wig. Now this is human hair. So this is how it looks on the inside. It's, um, see, this is the little hair that I was sticking back in there. So here you can see the wefts towards the bottom. The cap is really well made. And at the top it has that um more kind of like wig cap with the wefts sewn on there into the circle and um yeah and the name is right here i i got this so long ago i don't even remember when i got it i wasn't um really feeling it at the time i don't know i wanted a cute short style but then i just wasn't feeling it so i got another one and i wasn't feeling that one then i got the charlie wig and i did a review on that but i um gave the charlie wig away to my mom and love because it was too big the wig cap was too big and it was just fixing it every two seconds just wasn't working but this one fits my head perfectly um it's just a matter of playing around with it um this is the back it doesn't have that choppy kind of look i don't want it to look super wiggy i don't think that it looks super wiggy um but i don't know what it was the the front was much fuller i cut on the front a whole lot because it was that like that really long short and then really long I don't really like that on me that style to me makes me look a little bit more seasoned <laughs> some cutting to it so I apologize that you're not seeing this wig in the original state but you can look on here on YouTube and catch some unboxings 
of this um, bump wig. So you just want to make sure that the tabs where the ears go are where they need to go. Now, already, like this is the front part. My head's kind of small, so if I like pull this all the way down, like I won't see anything. So I kind of have to lift it up. And already the hair goes smoothly on the back of my neck. Just making sure everything is out. Okay. And so from here, you just really pl play with it. I think I'm liking it today. I don't know why I'm liking it now. I wasn't really feeling it before. <laughs> um, yeah. So now, like I said, I got to lift mine up a little bit. So now it's just really playing with the front. So, you know, if you're, you know, you want the little Betty Boop thing going on, you can do that. If, <laughs> you know, you want the little Boop Boopy Doop thing going on, um, and you like that, <laughs> do that. Um, I am mad at you. Um, yeah. So, I'm just going to play around with some different styles so that you can see um, some things that you can do with it. it is human and like I said it was much longer 
So even if you wanted to take a bobby pin and pin this, you can because of how that's made. If your hair is shorter, you can always pull out a little, if your hair is shorter and it matches, or even if it's a different color, and then just like give it a streaky kind of look. Pull your hair from up under there, you know, as well to make it even look more natural. Definitely lay your edges or whatever. I'm like pulling it a little back and not having it right there. Um, like I said, because I don't want it all the way down here. And it makes it look more natural because you see my little um, edges or whatever popping through. So... As you can see, this already has kind of a little bump to it. So you're going to have fun messing around with it. And it doesn't take much to, with your makeup done or whatever like that too. This wig, it just, it's just so cute. It's the cutest little pixie kind of cut. And um, it's definitely fun. It's definitely playful um yeah i don't know why i didn't like it before i'm like loving it now i'm like what was going on with me i don't know i don't know what was going on with me maybe it's because and sometimes i just get in those modes where i just want a short looking cut and maybe that's what it is maybe I, i'm just feeling it and that's what I want I don't know yeah so um I purchased this from my local beauty supply store definitely want to make sure your little hair is up okay let me give you all a good look at the back I don't know if you got a good look of the back too I did not do any cutting to the back. This is as is. Um, your sides, I like it more so going this way. You can definitely mousse it to manipulate it to go this way. But, you know, it's kind of set to kind of curl up going that way which you know really irritated me then but I think from it being thrown in the bottom of the bag for so long it just kind of <laughs> I don't know did something just give me a little side shots here's the top basically it for this review i hope that you can hear because i was super hot and i had my fan on and my children are in the back so yeah i hope that you enjoyed this you want to get a little short for an outfit or switch it up or whatever it's definitely enough room for a bigger head because i have some space in this one too um so yeah yeah all right, that's my cue.